Well, good afternoon live. I'm here again, here again, here again. We're talking about the focal criminal behavior of a Chicago police officer. Well, let me put it, rephrase it a little better. Of a Caucasian or white or European police officer. We're talking about his behavior. So before I get started on here, um, I'm going to let a few of you guys come on in and um, please share the video, share the video, share the video. And we want to talk about this criminal behavior. Since we've always said we're just making up stories, but this story is not made up, people. Hey, Luba, how you doing? Trina, Byron, what's going on? Is that a Deontay? I see you. Uh, was that uh, Bookie Turner? Is I'm saying it right? Latasha, Diana, hope I'm saying it right. Craig, what's going on? I'm waiting on more. You guys come on in. Michelle, hello, how y'all doing? We're going to talk about this uh, criminal behavior toward our young black men. What's up, Patricia? How you doing? Susan, Susanna, I, I think I got it right. Very resourceful. Juanita, is that Moesha? Barry, how you doing? How you guys doing? I'm getting ready to get started again. Get ready, Sharon, Hudson, I see you. Deontay, I see you guys. Listen, before I get started, I don't want to have to keep repeating myself. Because every time I'm just like, I'm getting to the middle of a video, somebody's like, update me, update me, update me, update me. Okay, hey, Stacy, how you doing? Hey, friend, how you doing? Friend uh, Gentry, I see you. Stacy, Tia, Jason, I see you guys. I see you. Is uh, Rashenda, Rash, let me say, for now, Miss Ward. I'm just gonna say Ward. I'm sorry, Latasha, Kanar, Kimmy. All right, get to the subject, people. Now we're gonna watch this video, and we're gonna listen to it. We're gonna listen. I'm talking about the criminal behavior. Now there's a video going around on social media, talking about these cops, and we're gonna we're gonna see it for ourselves. I'm getting ready to play. I'm gonna flip the screen around. And once I flip the screen around, we're going to talk about it. What's up, TJ? Cassandra, what's going on? We're going to talk about it. I'm going to flip it around. What's up, Letitia? I'm going to hit it now. All right, now. We're going to, we're going to go, go in now. I'm going to go in on it. Let me touch it. And listen up, people. Listen. You said you tried to shoot motherfuckers? I oh, you killed motherfuckers? out here today. And you just tried to hit me with the car? Listen. I'm just saying that I didn't lock you up from walking in the street. I ain't do nothing. I'm walking in the street. I'm walking across the street. Illegally. I'm walking across the street. Then I record. No, it's not. You say you shoot people and kill people? Oh, yes, you did. It's on camera, bro. Right, he says the shit. Listen to me. Now listen, as he approaches, watch. Now he's trying to agitate them. He can film you in a public place. I'll record myself. You hopped in the camera. You said what's up, bro? All right, so I'm a I'm just. I'm a college. You hit my shoe. See, now he's trying to agitate him. You just hit me. You hit my shoe. You don't even know my child. You don't even know my child. Call him. Call him right now. Call him. Call him. You just call him. Call him. See how cocky he is. It's hot. Now y'all see that people. Hold it. Hold it. You touch my phone? Listen to this. Listen to this. Now, now y'all just see. Let me flip back around. Now let me let me flip it back around. Talk y'all so I can talk to you. I'm flipping it back around. Now listen, people. Now listen. Those that know me, I don't use that type of language. But Clearly, he said he killed people. Clearly, he said he killed people. Now, my question is to Superintendent Eddie Johnson. This is the type of behavior that we have witnessed in Jason Van Dyke. This is the type of behavior we have witnessed in uh, Robert Ramos, 
Ramos, I, I think it's pronounced, those are two cops that murdered people in cold blood. Jason Van Dyke, 16 shots, Laquan McDonald, Latonio LaGree and Betty Jones, Robert did it. Mr. Superintendent, you're going to allow your officers that is paid by the taxpayers dollars to walk around here with that vocal criminal behavior. You can't deny it. It was on a tape. It was on tape. Kim Fox, you said in your own words that you don't have to wait on COPA. You can do a parallel investigation and we don't have to wait anymore. You're going to assign a special prosecutor for to prosecute police officers. This police officer with his behavior, he need to be prosecuted as soon as possible. Copa, where you at? And I got a question for Copa. Copa, you guys, when I see you guys on a police investigation, police shooting, I never see you guys in cage with the community. You always run over there where the police at and engage with the police without even consulting the community. Well, somebody said you're lying. I'm not lying. I got the tapes to prove it, that you guys do not engage with the police. And this video that we just witnessed, it is not acceptable, not in the city of Chicago in 2018. And you saying that your cops are doing a great job? Talking like this to our citizens? Oh no, that's a no, 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 no. Shame on you, Eddie Johnson. Show us how much muscle you got. Show us how much muscle you got. Deal with this situation. Kim Fox, deal with this situation. You need to assign a special prosecutor, like you said in your own words. You don't have to wait on COPA. At that time, it was Emperor, but it's, it's now COPA now. So what I'm saying to Eddie Johnson, I'm petitioning you, the city of Chicago, the north side, the south side, the west side, the east side, all sides. What are you going to do about this situation, Eddie? You said, well, Mr. Crime Chaser, what are you talking about, Eddie? You know what I'm talking about. This is clear daylight. Show us that you want to have a relationship with the community. Prove to us that you want to have a, com uh, a relationship to the black community. Do something about this type of behavior. It's been caught on camera and you can't deny it. No one in the force. And young man, whoever you are, if you're listening to me, Inbox me, talk to me. I'm gonna help you to deal with this problem. See, we're not gonna tolerate this behavior. Just like you ain't gonna tolerate us selling dope, killing folks, robbing and stealing, you lock us up, you don't care if we BD, GD, MC. Hey, I understand. But now, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Run, Charlie, run. We got you, and you're gonna deal with this. And for those just tuning in, I'm talking about this video let me turn it around again and we're gonna watch this video real slowly as i narrate it now listen real close people i didn't make this up now i didn't record this video i didn't make it up now listen people share listen up turn the camera around and we're gonna look at this video and i tell you people it's going all around social media Listen up, people, real close. You said you tried to shoot motherfuckers? Listen. Are oh, you still motherfuckers out here today? And you just tried to hit me with the Did y'all hear him? White man. European man. I ain't doing that. I'm walking across the street. I'm walking across the street. I'm walking across the street. And I record. No, it's not. You say you shoot people and kill people? Oh, yes, you did. It's on camera. Man, you got caught. Right, he said this shit. Y'all you know, hear that? Now he tried to get out, initiate, now after he had been caught. 
Now he wants to try to agitate. Listen to this, listen. This is the same type of behavior with the Jason Van Dyke, Robert Ramos, I hope I'm pronouncing this name correct, officer, police officer. I'm going to record myself. I'm going to snapchat. I'm going to record myself. You hopped in the camera. You said, what's up? Bro. Oh, all right. I'm telling you, this is my, my project. Now, look, I'm trying to agitate. Look, look, look. You hit my shoe. Look. You just hit my shoe, bro. You just hit me. You hit my shoe. You don't even know my You don't even know my mom. Call him. Call him right now. Look, and he challenged him. Call him. You just call him. Calls. He's walking all up on him. He's trying to agitate. Y'all see that? Look at that. Y'all see that, people? Y'all see that? Now you've seen it for yourself. I can't make that up. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie I can't make that up. Eddie Johnson, what are you going to do about this? Eddie. What are you going to do about it, Eddie? Eddie. Now, you say us social media people be making up things and we don't know what we're talking about. But you can't tell me what this I just witnessed on social media. He didn't make that up. People, y'all better wake up. Young black men, let me give you this message. For those of you that think you're tough, and I don't have a problem with you if you think you're tough, but when you have an encounter with the police, anything can go any kind of way. And remember, they're waiting on one little bit of aggression from you. And trust me, you won't win. He can kill you in, dead, uh, in cold blood, you're not gonna win. Yeah, they'll pay your family a few million dollars, three, four, five million dollars, they'll celebrate you but they would have never admit to, admit to guilt. So young men, be careful when you have encounters with the police because they're looking for anything to pull that trigger. Not all of them, but most of them. And you'll be another RIP, rest in peace, or RIH, rest in heaven, or RIH again, rest in hell, either or. So people, be careful. Be careful, young black men. You're a target. You are a target. When you are in war, they are in war with you, young men. And be careful how you engage with the police officer. Please be careful, young man. If the young man that engaged in this activity, if he's listening to me, inbox me as soon as possible. But Mr. Eddie Johnson, we... The citizens of the city of Chicago demand that you address this behavior in the public, not behind closed doors. We want to know how you're going to deal with this one. Cooper, where you at? Kim Fox, you said in your own words during election time that you can you don't have to wait on Emperor. Now it's Cooper. You could do a parallel investigation and get all the evidence. Kim, this is a job for you. And we've been waiting on you to live up to your promises. And we thank you for so many changes that you have brought to your platform while you became the Cook County State's Attorney. We appreciate you, but we need this one. We need this one. And we need you guys to get together and to address this type of vocal criminal behavior. Coming live from the crime chaser desk. Share this video. Share this video. Peace out.